Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes. Stack the pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Nicobe Dean. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. Yeah, I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Now Purdy. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Back to Debo Samuel for consecutive catches. Stiff-armed him. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On first down, Purdy. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. This is going to be the matchup to watch out on the perimeter, and it won't be the last time these two go at it. Both of them believe they are the superior. In this case, the win goes to the defense. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. They'll try and pick it up with Mitchell. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. There's Purdy on first and 10. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And the 49ers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from two yards out. And the 49ers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 7 0. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25.
Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25 yard line. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. There to make the tackle, Samson Abuka. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Hurts. That one complete down the field to Smith. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Moving 19. 19, 19, 19. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. First down, Hurts, and it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Hurts sets up to throw it. And incomplete on the deep ball. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Throwing his hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 13-yard line. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Second down, here's Hurts. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big, bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Back to 60, back to 60. Go. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Oh, the sneak gets hurt. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level. So with second and goal, still had a couple of downs to work with. They tried the sneak, and they got in. 
I like the idea that they did it early in the down and distance count. Second down as opposed to waiting later on. I think it fooled them a little bit, but how about the push they got up front to get the quarterback through? Big push and a touchdown to boot. Elliott good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. To throw on second and ten. Purdy. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on the first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And that's incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. Fourth down try. Here's Purdy. And it's knocked away and incomplete. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and it'll be a turnover on downs. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles have taken the lead. So that pretty conclusively, I might add, shows you the perils of going for it and not making it on fourth down. One play, touchdown. Yeah, and I've got to put this on the man in charge, the head coach. He made the decision to go for it. To me, when punting was the only decision to make, and it backfired on him in a big way. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Purdy now to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? The Niners on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Purdy off the play fake. 
And that will be incomplete. That is smart enough to avoid the taunting rule. And I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Purdy on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And boy, possession here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown.